We see fonts every day, and they may seem trivial, but on highways, a bad font has the power to make us get lost, or worse, get into an accident. So why do we see two different fonts on US highways, and who gets to decide which fonts are plastered on those green signs anyway? The truth is, to this day, the Federal Highway Administration can't decide which font is safer for American drivers. That's why you see different fonts across state lines and sometimes within the same state. To understand how we got here, we have to go back to the 50s, when the first design for highway font hit American roads. Highway Gothic was similar to the UK's font and checked all the boxes. It was sans serif, aka no hard to read squigglies, uppercase letters were easy to distinguish, and it was legible from far away. But there was one big problem. With the development of better, brighter sign materials, at night, in the glare of headlights, the E's, A's, and S's look like O's. So to fix this, designer Donald Meeker developed a wider font so good and so sleek, the US adopted it as an official highway font in 2004. Her name was Clearview. The A's and E's were easier to read, it boosted visibility by 80 feet, which means you had 1.2 more seconds to read it, and it increased nighttime reading distance by 16%. Any additional time you can get trying to figure out whether this is my exit is a helpful thing from an operational and a safety standpoint. That's Martin Pietrucha, a Penn State civil engineer who evaluated Clearview's effectiveness at the time. Clearview would go on to be plastered on highways across America. Print Magazine even called it one of the 10 typefaces of the decade. Everything was great for about 12 years. In 2016, the Federal Highway Administration abruptly announced Clearview would no longer be allowed on highways. New research showed the font wasn't innately more legible. It was only easier to read because the letters were bigger new signs would have to use Highway Gothic. But it doesn't end there. Just two years later, the government pulled a 180, issuing a memorandum that more or less said, wait, never mind about banning Clearview. All the research is inconclusive. You can use it if you want. So that's why as of 2018, the US has two highway fonts, and there's no saying which one is actually safer. We contacted the Federal Highway Administration for comment, but did not hear back. But designer Donald Meeker thinks he knows why the government won't give Clearview permanent approval. The $800 one-time licensing fee states would have to pay Meeker's design firm to use it. So are we lacking a unified font across the US because some states don't want to pay up? Depends who you ask. We reached out to two states who didn't adopt Clearview. California's Department of Transportation told us via email, quote, switching would have required paying for the licenses when the state was struggling with deficits, end quote. Maine, on the other hand, says, quote, the licensing fee had nothing to do with our decision. At the time of Maine's Department of Transportation's last decision regarding highway sign fonts, the Federal Highway Administration had stopped states from getting interim approval for the Clearview font, end quote. So while we wait for some consensus, which font do you think is easier to read? Clearview or Highway Gothic? Or do you have an idea for a font that would be better? Comic Sans, anyone? Webdings? Let us know in the comments.